Hello, how are you doing? Let's take a look at love this morning. Let's take a look at love and see how love is in the collective vibration. I hope you're well. I hope everyone is well. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, everything is below. And we could dive and take a deeper look within your situation. Everybody's situation is different. That's why this is general, okay? Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't, okay? Overall vibe. Chemistry. Ooh, there's a magnetic attraction here. The desire and passion. It's so hard to walk away. So someone here is really attracted to you. Super attracted to you. Um, oh, I get pillow talk. I get pillow talk. I get this energy of like... Not only, not only the intimacy here, but we actually just go together. We, we vibe very well. There's something very beautiful about this energy. Ah, something very beautiful about this energy. Opposites attract here. Maybe you were friends first here. Maybe, we, again, some of you are connecting with someone that is saying that they were your friends, but, or your friend, but no. They may not be your friend here. They're definitely not your friend. There's some more. There's some more to this here. Anything else in this energy here? So there's a desire. There's strong passion. Look at this. We're chained. Um, unable to get away. Someone, it's like they think about you regularly. They, it's like they mesmerize about you. Okay. I feel like this person could be very protective of you as well, or very like, yeah, they're protective of you. It's like they, they want to know, like they want to ensure that you're okay. I want to always make sure that you're fine. You're okay. Um, I want to make sure that you're in a safe space emotionally. All right. This, this is someone here that I feel like there's a lot of thoughts going on here. There's like this huge, like, going down memory lane, going down into the space of nostalgia. And I just think about how much we connect and how much we just get along and how good this feels and how good we feel together. Yeah. So what's the current energy? What else is going on? What is this person not saying? Mm. What is this person not saying? We see the chemistry. We see the vibe. What is this person not saying to my viewers? What are they not saying? Mm, I hold back more than you think. What is that? I hold back more than you think here. All right. This is someone here that feels as if like you're dragging them into a spiritual place. Yeah. Have you ever connected with someone so deeply and it's like now I'm starting to tap into my, my intuition. Now I'm starting to tap into my gifts. I'm starting to tap into um, the spiritual realm. So you're actually making this person move into a realm that they never thought that they would actually step into. This person is becoming very patient with themselves. Maybe in the past they used to speak with a different tone, a different energy, a different demeanor, but now it's like there's this energy of relief. So this person definitely feels a sense of, hmm, like this, it's like a strong force of like kindness towards you. Did you meet this person yet? It's like, it's a very, it's a very beautiful energy, but this person may be hiding this. Why? Because again, this is what you don't know, right? This is what you don't see. Anything else that we're not seeing? Yeah, it's like I'm being reserved. I'm, look at that. What's going on? Look at this. Oh, so someone here is falling head over heels. Someone here is literally falling head over heels. It's scary, right? They're a bit nervous about it, but they're falling head over heels for you. And it's like this person is wanting to know if you feel the same way too. They have faith with this. It's like they do have faith, but at the same time, they wonder. They wonder like... You know, if I were to completely open up, eventually what would happen, right? You'll start noticing like this person happier. They're super excited when they're around you. This person may not be the biggest talker. Like they may not call or text a lot and things like that. Some do, but this person could be someone that will show you 
small, I don't want to say red flags, but like pink flags of not really communicating. And I really feel like it's really stemming from a place of, you know, um, if I were to talk to you so much, you know, there's a lot of things that I wouldn't be able to sit back and reflect on. So this person does admire their space. They do admire, uh, you know, taking time and, and really reflecting. So this could be someone, again, a Leo. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, and we'll see what else comes out. I'm also hearing Aquarius and Gemini. So um, there is a vibe here. There is definitely a vibe here. So get ready for this chemistry. And also... Let's see. Also, clarify this energy of feeling tied down. That kind of brought some questions to my soul here. Feeling tied down. Yeah, so this is this is more so thinking, a lot of thinking energy here. This could be coming from the both of you. Like we both, we're both healing, all right? We're both healing from a lot of things. Um, we're both healing from a lot of past past lessons that we're still trying to uh, get a better understanding of but it's not going to stop it's not going to stop me from pursuing this with you there's something here that this person truly wants to pursue and I feel like they're really taking a time maybe they haven't really told you about this yet maybe they haven't told you um, how they view you in the future. But I do feel like this is someone here, maybe they, they want children or maybe they want to do things that they didn't do in their childhood. And you'll start to notice like, you know, you're always, you're always laughing and telling me things about the future here. I really don't get this is gaslighting. I really don't get that this is, you know, a hoax or anything like that. I really feel like this person feels something deeply for you, right? How are my viewers feeling? <laughs> How are my viewers feeling about this whole thing? How does my viewers feel about this whole thing here? Let's see. How do you feel? Hmm? Wait. How does my viewers feel? What's going on? Oh. Some of you are nervous. Some of you are nervous here. Right? I'm a bit nervous. I'm starting to feel the same as well, but I'm a bit nervous about what the future may hold here. Is there someone in your past that you're still holding on to or a past energy that you're still holding on to? And take this how this resonates. This may be you here and this is your person. But again, like I said in the beginning, this is a general reading, but someone's showing up here with this energy of, I'm nervous of what the future holds. Ten of Pentacles and the devil, right? I'm a, I'm a bit nervous. I overthink. I feel, I feel a bit anxious about this. You know? Things didn't work out so well for me in the past here. So it makes me a little nervous while getting all this love and getting all this attention and getting all of this amazingness that you're wanting to give me. The passion is great. The, the connection is great. But I'm nervous. And maybe this person's picking up on that. Maybe this person starts, someone's picking up on someone being scared, nervous, aloof. Okay? If you if you look at the contrast in these two people, um, someone is saying, I do want long term. I do. But I'm still hiding a lot of things here. What are the messages? What are the messages between these two coming together? Just the overall message, please. What is the overall message? These feelings are eating me alive. I feel like it's, these feelings are eating me alive here. Someone feels like maybe it's not the right time to confess their love because some... Oh, what was that? Let's see. What was that? Someone feels like it's possibly not... Yeah, I can't handle your love. Someone here, it, they're not... They're not sure if they could handle all this energy at this time. Maybe it's you, right? Right? Could be your person again you take it how it resonates you know you you're vibing with what's coming out here but someone's like i can't handle all this right now this is this is a bit scary for me i thought i could handle it at first it's not that i don't appreciate it i just don't know if i could handle it okay now if this is you let's just say it's you and you're a bit nervous right and you want to know what this person's true intentions are down the line. You really want to know this person that loves me. They they have all these feelings for me. They they want me. They desire me, right? They want to spend time with me. Let's see what this person's truth is in the future energy. 
And if this is not you, and this is you, and you're like, I feel a connection with this person, say la vie tarot, I, I really feel for this person, but this person's nervous, okay? We're going to take a look at how this person eventually develops in the future. So we'll take a look at both from that point of view in the extended and see what spirit wants to guide us with. All right. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. I'll see you over at the extended. Have a good one. All right. There's something very intense here that takes place. Very beautiful energy here. Someone tries to stop someone from leaving, walking away as well. 